Hello students, welcome to the magical world of computers. Today I am just going to introduce you to this new magical machine and I know you must be already using it for computer games, for email, you know even now small 6 years old boys and girls they are using computers. I am taking you to this world by the first lesson of introduction to the computers. A computer is an electronic device operating under the control of instructions stored in its own memory. These instructions tell the machines what to do. The computer is capable of accepting data, processing the data arithmetically and logically, producing output from the processing and storing the results for future use. Most computers that sit on a desktop are called PCs that is personal computers. I think you must be using personal computer, is not it? Okay. Now, I tell you what are the different parts of a computer. The keyboard, the speakers for sound, the mouse, central processing unit CPU, and also the joystick which you use for the monitor games. Another important is monitor. You know if you have a 17 inch monitor that means its diagonal is 17 inch. RAM is random access memory and the processor is defined in megahertz. That is if you say I have a 233 megahertz processor the more the megahertz, the faster the computer and CD-ROM, hard drive and the floppy drive. Now, let us understand the difference between software and hardware. You must have heard these two terms software and hardware. You know software is the stuff that makes your computer do things what you want it to do. The computer without software would be like a home entertainment system with no tapes, no CDs or any movies. You have the machine, but there is nothing to play on it. Software is continually developed. Each time the software maker say Microsoft or Adobe or CorelDRAW these they develop a new version of their software. They assign it a version number. Before Microsoft Word 7, which I am going to teach you in the next class, there was Microsoft Word 6.0.1 and before that Word 6.0. The larger the developments made to the computer software, the larger the version number changes. I hope you understand now. Usually a large change will result in a whole number grade a small change may result in a tenth of a decimal place. Please remember that hardware are those com components or physical pieces that make up the computer. Hardware are those things you can touch. Earlier have to I have told you about different parts of the computer's hardware that is monitor, speakers, mouse, CD-ROM, hard drive, keyboard, CPU, RAM, processor etcetera. Each part plays a vital role in the operation of the computer. Okay, now, let us uh, see how to use a keyboard. You know the keyboard is one of the ways you can tell the computer what to do. It consists of the standard typewriter. I, I hope you must have seen a typewriter. The typewriter keys as well as a numeric keypad. You can use the keyboard to give the computer commands as well as use it to name folders and files and type text in word processing documents. You will be learning about word processing in the next class. Using the mouse is another important factor. The mouse is another way you can tell the computer what to do. The mouse is used to move a small arrow pointer on the screen 
by pointing and clicking you can carry out commands the computer may ask you to verify that you are sure you want to rename a file by clicking on the ok button i hope it's clear the tip of the mouse pointer must be positioned on the item you want to use to select an item position the mouse pointer on the item and click once you know if you click double then double clicking on an icon invokes a command or launches an application to drag an item from one location to another position the mouse pointer on the item click and hold the mouse button down and move the item to the new location i hope you understand you please try these things on your computer on windows machines there is left and right mouse button most of the time you use the left mouse button the right mouse button when clicked will display a contextual menu on some newer macs the same feature can be used with their single mouse button by holding down the control key as you click an item on the screen is it clear try it on your pc using a desktop the de computer's interface uses a desktop metaphor the desktop is the colored background you see on the screen when you start your computer it is a place where you manipulate the work you are doing by handling icons or little pictures that represent your files folders and disks i hope you must have seen desktop now this is all about uh, you know the desktop now i take you to the world of windows and how to work with windows you see working with windows gives you the ability to look at something it allows you to look into a document or a folder or a disk to move a window on the screen simply drag it around by its little bar by its title bar what is an operating system now let us learn something about operating system every computer works with an operating system when you use your computer you sit facing some of your computer hardware basic computer hardware consists of the keyboard and mouse the screen you use to view your work and the central processing unit cpu which is the box that houses all the inner workings of the computer your you use computer applications or software programs when you create your spreadsheets word processing documents and graphics all these you are going to learn in the next lessons some popular applications are microsoft excel word and powerpoint you cannot directly use computer applications with computer hardware instead you need a translation system between the hardware and the applications this translation system is called the operating system OS the windows or mac os works behind the scenes to run your computer it tells the computer what to do when it starts up and keeps track of your documents files and other software it also provides the standard user interface component like menus and the desktop that you see when you look at your computer screen both the windows and the mac os operating systems use a graphical interface pictures or icons instead of text that allows you to immerse yourself in multitasking what is multitasking assessing multiple applications and files simultaneously so you work with windows in this interface these windows are a series of boxes which can be opened and closed as needed
Now let us see how to use folders and files. Your computer's hard drive is just like using a large filing cabinet. In your home you are having cabinets, isn't it? The drawers are folders and the folders inside the drawers are subfolders. The information inside of the folders or subfolders is stored in files. The files can be many types. Now various types of files are word processing, spreadsheet, database, computer graphics, etc. Typically on your hard drive you may thousands of folders you may have subfolders and files. An example of the hierarchical structure of a hard drive is shown below. Now let us understand the difference between Windows and Mac. The personal computer industry has generally sorted itself out along the lines of two major operating systems, Mac and Windows. The Mac operating system runs on CPUs made by Apple computer. The Windows operating system made by Microsoft runs on CPUs made by many different companies but not Apple. Some of these companies are IBM, Dell, Compaq, Gateway, Fujitsu, Sony, etc. When people talk about the differences between Windows and Mac, in general, they are expressing a personal preference about which operating system or hardware they believe to be superior. So, dear friends, in this lesson, you learnt about different parts of computer difference between software and hardware, how to use the keyboard and mouse and what is a desktop. You also learnt how to work with windows and the different operating systems. I hope you learn how to work on personal computer and in the next lesson you will learn different applications of this magical machine called computer. Thank you. Mm -hmm.